Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Amid the stump speeches on the campaign trail, there is one political veteran who's avoiding the limelight. Sam Myers has been a backstage player for every Democratic presidential pick since Jimmy Carter. He talked to correspondent Seth Doan about the ups and downs of life on the road. So you're on the road all the time? We're on for 36 hours straight right now. 12 stops, 36 hours. We started this morning at 11, go to 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Is every day like this? Not every day is 36 hours straight, but every day for the last six, seven months have been pretty, pretty crazy. So you're something of a legend. I'm old. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't know about a legend or not. You've been on the campaign trail, candidate after candidate after candidate I've for been years. Since 76, started out as a volunteer in a congressional race in Missouri, and then uh, went to work in the Carter White House. And from there, run on to Mondale, right on to Dukakis, Clinton. And some of those turned out better than others, as you know. Clinton in 92, um, stayed with him through seven years, through the administration, and then Al Gore. And then I've been with Edward since, uh, I guess March of 2003. What are the days like for you? Well, like well, today's not too bad as far as the time it started because we started at 11. On a regular day, depending on where you are, and I mean, like, of course, we're right in the middle of Iowa caucus season right now, so you know the days usually uh, morning shows especially make a day an awfully long day when you have to get up at 4:30 or 5 to start doing morning shows, and then you start a regular schedule right after that that might take you straight through to 11 or 12 o'clock at night. So. Uh, it'll take its toll, but uh, you know you get a break, you know, from time to time, so it's not too bad. Is it stressful? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think it was stressful years ago, but anymore, I mean, it's like any other job that you've got. I mean, you kind of learn to roll with the punches, and there might be some times that, you know, it might feel a little more stressful than others. But I don't really feel the stress that much anymore. Uh, I really don't. I mean, there's a lot of pieces involved here that you have to kind of keep, you know, together, but it's not bad. One person described this as lousy pay, lousy sleep, lousy food, but incredibly addictive. Perfect, 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 perfect. All, all true. Uh, it depends on how long you've been in it, if, uh, if some of those uh, things are true. But um, I've had some great food, you know, I've made some money from time to time, and I've gotten some sleep. So, uh, and but you don't, you're not, you're not doing this for the money. I mean, there's a lot of youth out here that are just doing it for the experience, and some of them will stay with it like I did and continue the rest of their life doing it, and some will move on, you know, to other, other areas. But uh, it's, uh, I eat, sleep, and drink it. I love it. You've worked for so many different candidates. How do you get excited, energized about a new one? You get a feel. You kind of get a feel for it. Uh, and actually, my son got me interested in Edwards in 2003. Um, so you really need to take a look at this guy. I wasn't sure if I was going to do another presidential. But I uh, looked at him, liked him, um, met with him, and it just he just feels right I mean and not you know not that I'm drinking the kool-aid and you know I, I believe it I believe the guy is right uh, he's right for the country he's been right for us and uh, and I worked like I said I worked for Bill Clinton for almost eight years and uh, Al Gore uh, he was great they were both great but this has just a little bit different feel to it and it feels just uh, it just feels right so we'll see what happens